Okay, we're here with Ryan Finnerty at the end of the victory against the Dundee Stars. Ryan, uh, it's been a huge weekend. We've been building up as, as the, the two games against Dundee to be. You must be pretty happy with the way part one panned out. Yeah, obviously, you know, it's a two-part, uh, two-game series here and, and uh, massive, massive weekend for, for both clubs. And, uh, yeah, you know, we got the job done tonight. Um, I thought we uh, thought we played a pretty good hockey game. You know, they uh, they came out and they, they took it to us for the first eight minutes and then I, I felt we uh, we found our feet and, and deserved to be, to be up going into the second. You must be particularly pleased given that when you've been playing against the teams that are around you in the league, you've lost so many in overtime or by penalty shots recently, but you really managed to push through this one. Yeah, I thought I thought the way we handled that uh, when we got the lead, our, our uh, clock management was a lot better. You know, I thought we we uh, we handled the puck. We didn't we didn't sit back and we made them make plays and, and force them to to uh, to uh, to a lot of turnovers. You know, because we, we had good pressure on them all game. Guys worked well below their goal line there. We we, we kept we kept high guys and you know that that's something we, we haven't done in the past. We we've gotten away from that and I thought tonight was uh, showed a bit more maturity uh, at that at that level and, and held a comfortable two nothing uh, two goal lead. If I can pick out one goal that seemed a bit contentious, it looked like a clear penalty um, at our end and uh, it wasn't called and they broke up the ice and scored the equaliser their second. Did you have a view in that incident? Yeah, obviously, you know I. I, did, I didn't agree with uh, a lot of the calls. I, I thought uh, thought they were pretty weak compared to what was going on in the play, but that, that happens, you know, and, and sometimes we're, we're in favor of it. And, you know, the power play definitely got them back in the game. You know, they, they got back in the game with the, the two power plays there, and, and uh, you know, and, and then that happens. They're, they got a great power play. They move it around quick. I thought our power play, even though we didn't, we didn't execute tonight, I thought we looked dangerous. And uh, I, I saw a lot of good things with the two units that we got. And, um, you know, I think it's just a matter of time before we start executing on that. But we didn't get a whole lot of power play time tonight. We spent a lot of it on the kill here. But you know what? It, it's a, it was a good game of hockey. And it, we're halfway there. And, and tomorrow's a big one. It seems in the past couple of weeks, the confidence level among the guys seems to have stepped up. And maybe that coincides with Mario LaRocque's arrival. Does that get anything to do with it? Yeah, obviously Mario showing you know coming in and, and you can see his composure and, and his experience out there and you know losing Nico tonight was was tough and 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 we'll we'll probably have be without him again tomorrow so it'll be, you know it it's good to see that the five man rotation Sam Zajac played some good minutes tonight and you know he, he gets more confident the more he plays so you know it's uh, we'll probably be going with the same lineup tomorrow night and uh, you know I think Mario's been uh, he's been a great addition we needed some we needed some stability back there some leadership he's a he's a calming factor on the puck you can see he's uh, he makes good plays and under pressure he doesn't panic and and that's what we were looking for. In the middle of the week, Ryan, you called on the fans to come out and really help your guys through this. Were you happy with the, the noise from the stands tonight? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's the greatest building to play in when, when, it, when it's packed and, and they're so loud and, and boisterous. And you know what? Good on them for sticking with it, you know, with the, with the uh, little bit of problems at the, the start of the game. And, and they, uh, they stuck by it and, and, they, and they stayed with us. And, and great job on the arena, getting everything sorted out. I mean, it, it could have been, it could have been, a, um, could have been a, an empty night. There could have been a game and, and the, you know, the, the interior, they, they, they uh, uh, they got called into action there late and, and they sorted it out and it was a good game of hockey and for, for both sets of fans and Dundee fans were great and, and loud and boisterous so it's, um, it's a nice rivalry between two good teams and I, and I, I think, uh, you know, I think we're, we're getting a lot more respect in, in this conference than, than we have in the past. I know your head's probably still in tonight's game a bit Ryan but can you look forward to tomorrow and tell us what you hope for from that one? Yeah, obviously, you know, as soon as that buzzer went, you, you start thinking about tomorrow, and it's going to be it's going to be a difficult barn to go into. But we've had some success in there. We've played some good hockey in there, and uh, we got We got to take that up there, and, and it's going to be another another packed barn, and and we're going to we're going to bring a load of fans up there. And I tell you what, we're we're excited for this, and we're prepared for it. I, feel, I think we're we're very prepared for it. Um, strategically and mentally, I think guys are are, are ready to 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 commit here, and they know how important this weekend is. Congratulations on the win. Good luck tomorrow, Ryan. Thanks a lot.